This video is about converting absolute value or modulus functions to piecewise functions. When we talk about absolute value or modulus, you will know that the output of the function it must be, in this case fx, the output of fx it must be greater than zero. Why? Because it must be positive. It must be always positive. Or it could be equal to zero. So the output for fx it could be greater or equal to zero. So this is something to do with absolute values. Absolute value functions always turns uh, everything, uh, negative value to positive value, so on and so forth. Okay, and then uh, we're changing uh, absolute value to piecewise functions. Piecewise function also known as non-modulus form in this case. So we express fx equals to modulus x plus three in the non-modulus form. Before we changing it, the piecewise functions look at these functions x plus 3 okay so you have the function of x plus 3 imagine you are putting in the number of uh, negative 2 for domain x and what do you have you have negative 2 plus 3 and then you have 1 right right now imagine in you are putting in sorry the number of uh, negative 4 okay so you put in negative 4 plus 3 and you have negative 1 and look at this sign this is modulus symbol so can we have the answer of negative 1 no so what do you need to do to turn a negative value to a positive value the best way is you put a negative sign in front of it so when you put a negative sign in front of it you have 1 so this one, you also need to put a negative sign. And this one, you also need to put a negative sign. Am I right? So when you have a look at this one, do they have the same output? One? Yes. But what is the differences between uh, these two functions? Differences is, this is plus. Am I right? And this is minus. So you have plus bracket x plus 3 and you have minus bracket x plus 3. What does it mean? It shows that when you have a modulus functions, you can always change them into two functions, which is with plus, plus bracket x plus 3, or you can change it to minus bracket x plus 3. So this is the first thing that you should know. A modulus function can break it into two more functions with a plus or negative sign. All right, so we continue with these questions. Since fx must be greater or equal to zero, uh, for the range of fx, you must figure out the domain, the range of the domain. And x plus 3, let's say x plus 3 must be greater or equal to 0. This is your range of range of domain in order for it to be positive. So when you have to write piecewise functions, right? This is how you write. So you have the domain x equal or uh, uh, greater than negative 3. Think about this. This is your domain. Uh, greater I'm sorry greater or greater or equal to negative 3 so this is your domain another domain would be x less than negative 3 so there are two regions of it so when you have x equals uh, more than negative 3 for example negative 2 negative 1 look at this one it is always it is always positive so do you which one do you take do you take the positive one or do you take the negative one the positive one right for x uh, greater than negative 3 here you take the positive one so you put in x plus 3 you don't have to write the uh, positive sign here because it's the same thing and for those who are less than negative 3 for example negative 4 right you have to put in a negative sign so you have negative bracket x plus 3 this is what uh, this is what you go for right you go for the negative sign functions and in order to simplify it, you don't write it as negative bracket x plus 3, you write as negative x minus 3. So this is the piecewise functions. Right? We have completed it. For the domain x greater than negative 3, we will use x plus 3. For the domain of x less than negative 3, sorry, uh, yeah, this is more than equal negative 3, you use x plus 3. For this x uh, less than negative three, uh, less x less than negative three, you use minus x minus three. So this is piecewise functions.
you have different functions uh, for different regions. Okay, we look at one more example where you have more complicated absolute functions, absolute value functions. You are changing it to a piecewise function as well. So you have this and this. Since I have shared with you, a modulus function can always have two more functions. So you have plus four. So you have, if you have the positive, you have x plus four. If you have the negative functions, you put and you have negative x, negative four. Am I right? For this one, the positive one would be x minus four. The negative one would be, you put in a negative sign in front of it. Uh, what do you have? You have x, negative x plus four. Okay, uh, so you must know you can always pick into two more functions for uh, absolute value functions. Okay, hence we need to figure out this one first. So let's draw the piece y functions and look at the range. Okay, look at the range of the domain uh, x plus 4. Okay, so this is your number line. Whenever you confuse, you can draw the number line. So how many region here? How many region here? So you see this is between negative 4 to 4, including negative 4 and 4, because you have the equal sign. You also have x less than negative 4, right? You also have x greater than 4. So you have three different regions. And you need to figure out the functions. Okay, this is what we do. Huh? Put in a number in this regions. In this regions, I will go for the number negative 5. If you put negative 5 here, negative 5 plus 4, you have negative 1. You have a negative value. So do you need to put a negative sign in front of it? Yes. So you go for negative functions. So you have negative x minus 4 and then this is minus so you keep it that way minus you put in negative 5 here negative 5 minus 4 you have negative 9 the negative answer so you go for this one negative x plus 4 okay uh, maybe I need to write again it's not long enough uh, let me write again now uh, for the domains and uh, we do not have enough space for it Right. Let's continue with another region. We continue with this region. Uh, between negative 4 to 4, what number? Easy way out, 0. So we put 0 here, positive. You have positive answer, you have 4. So you go for positive functions, x plus 4, still minus. You put 0 here, you have negative 4, negative answer, you go for negative x plus 4 and the last regions of course I will go for 5 I put in 5 here what do I have? I have 9 positive so I put in x plus 4 still minus if I put in 5 here positive or negative I have 1 so it's still positive so I choose the positive functions x minus 4 okay let me lap it off. Huh? So this part no longer needed. Let's simplify it. Okay, think about this. You have negative x minus 4. Okay, simplify it. Huh? What do we have here? You have negative 8 here, 2x here, you have 8, right? This is how you're simplifying it for the domain of negative 4 
All right, so this is your piecewise function with three different regions. Uh, after finding the piecewise function, you have to sketch the graph. So delete, oops, fail one more time. Oh, what happened? Huh? Delete. Okay, finally. Okay, now we sketch the graph. So let's build your uh, x axis and then build your fx axis. So this is your fx, this is your x axis. How many different regions? There are three different regions negative 4 and also 4. And for the value, you have y equals to 8. You also have y equals to negative 8. It's a, it's a horizontal line, am I right? It's a horizontal line. Four eight is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. So this is y equals to eight. This is y equals to negative eight, and then we have y equals to two x. F x equals to two x. So when you put x equals to zero, your f x equals to zero. One two two four, three six, four eight. So this is your. This should be your. Um, y equals to 2x. It should be passing to origin. Huh? It should be passing to origin. So I have to adjust this line. Okay. So this is your y equals to 2x. Ah, there you go. Okay, this is how you sketch the graph for piecewise functions uh, for different regions. y equals to 8, y equals to 2x, y equals to negative 8. So this is how you answer sketching the graph. And then you go for determine the range of fx the range for fx find the maximum number of fx the maximum number for fx should be 8 right because when you have uh, 5 or 6 or any number onwards it will still be forever a straight line the horizontal line so the greatest value is 8 it could be 8 and what is the smallest value for smallest possible value for fx it is negative 8. So this is the range of fx. Okay, so this is how we convert the absolute value functions to a piecewise functions, hence catching the graph and finding the range of fx. Thank you.